okay now that we have seen how to use uh, what is the construction what is the basic principle of a dilution refrigerator and that it takes down your system's temperature down to few millikelvin okay uh, can you go lower okay and this is actually done with dilution with adiabatic demagnetization adiabatic demagnetization you would have already studied earlier so i will not get into the complete details of it uh, but I will just briefly mention to you the process. But the most important thing is that you take the system down to millikelvin temperature and then you do adiabatic demagnetization on the sample. Uh, uh, um, you introduce an adiabatic demagnetization stage, not on the sample, but you introduce a demagnetization stage using which you cool the sample down to further uh, down to millikelvin temperatures. So as you see here, you have already seen this is the dilution refrigeration stage and here in red and surrounded by blue you have the adiabatic demagnetization stage. Here what you have is a region with paramagnetic salts which are used for cooling and these are magnets for adiabatic demagnetization and below this is where you will place your sample and in another magnetic field which is generated by separate set of magnets which so that you can measure the properties of your sample which has been cooled down to few millikelvin micro kelvin uh, in a magnetic field these magnets these two magnets these two sets of magnets are actually separate this set of magnets which you see here are primarily meant for doing adiabatic demagnetization of the paramagnetic salts which help you to reduce the temperature. So initially these paramagnetic salts are held at few millikelvin temperature which have been cooled uh, using your dilution refrigerator. Then what one does is that you apply very strong magnetic fields of, of the order of 5 teslas or so, so that all the spins in the paramagnetic salt are uniformly aligned. So you go from uh, high entropy state a high entropy state into a low entropy state and when you go from a high to low entropy state there is going to be heat generated so this heat which is generated the moment you apply the magnetic field to the paramagnetic salt this large magnetic field so that all the spins are aligned it goes into a low entropy state and generates heat as you go so this heat has to be taken out from the system which is taken out through heat linkages and heat exchangers which will take it to the dilution refrigerator and then take it out from the system so from here to here you will first have to cool the system so it is cooled down 2 millikelvin temperatures uh, by taking out this heat in the presence of a magnetic field. So now you have a salt in which the magnetic field has aligned on the spins and it is cooled. Now this system is then brought in contact with your sample and what happens then is that you first take the magnetic field to zero you bring down the magnetic field to zero you bring in in contact with the sample which is hot initially and what happens is that these spins now start taking up energy from the sample and start again going into the paramagnetic random orientation stage. So what they are doing is that from this state they are again going into the high entropy state their entropy is increasing this is low entropy and they go into a higher entropy state by taking heat by taking dq from the sample and uh, getting into the disordered paramagnetic state in doing so they start cooling the sample and this process is continuously repeated so that your temperature of the sample goes down from few millikelvin down to few micro kelvin and in through this set of procedures through this repeated cycling the sample can be taken from few uh, down to few micro kelvin and uh, then once it is down to micro kelvin you can apply various magnetic fields and so on to the sample and as you can see these magnetic fields are to study the properties of the sample they are not meant for demagnetizing the paramagnetic salts 
for uh, adiabatic demagnetization of paramagnetic salts it is these separate set of magnets which are used which are shielded and well separated out from the sample the sample here doesn't see the magnetic field due to these adiabatic demag fields okay the adiabatic demagnetizing magnetic fields which are generated by these magnets these are well separated out so through this procedure you can actually go from milli kelvin uh, to few micro kelvin ranges and uh, it is interesting for you to note that there is only one lab in india uh, which has successfully uh, generated micro kelvin temperatures i think of the order of few tens of micro kelvin um, uh, and that is the lab of professor s ramakrishna at TIFR Mumbai and uh, by going down to very low temperatures as these micro Kelvin ranges they were able to make a very important discovery namely that bismuth becomes superconducting bismuth is a material uh, which is which was not known to be superconducting by developing this entire setup a very complex setup uh, and by reaching down to such low temperatures they made a very important discovery namely the material bismuth is actually superconducting so you can make very important discoveries there is a very low, rich physics which is uh, which can happen at very low temperatures um, which you can do and these are the basic this is the most modern setups which one can have for uh, doing condensed matter physics at ultra low temperatures and superconductivity forms a part of that doing this physics at very low temperatures so um, for example you can see i can show you uh, so uh, you can see that these are the typical uh, cryogenic setups uh, which uh, you will have a dilution stage and the adiabatic demagnetization stage and uh, these are typically very complex very uh, intricate and uh, quite difficult set of experiments they are also very long they actually go into uh, a hole in the uh, in the flooring and then they are uh, it could be two level system uh, the cryostat could be hang hanging from the ceiling you could have a cryostat which is actually hanging from the ceiling and your entire setup is hanging from the ceiling um, uh, for example this is uh, your adiabatic demag fridge uh, which has a dilution refrigerator and adiabatic uh, demagnetizing setup uh, a person from professor s ramkrishnan's lab is working on this setup so uh, these are typically the state of the art type of cryogenic uh, techniques uh, used to go down to uh, very very low temperatures in the micro kelvin regime uh, in the next set of lectures, we will get back to superconductivity and we will start discussing the phenomena of superconductivity.